I really hate sunscreen, guys. It's so gross. This one, at least. The one I use at home, I mean, I don't really use body sunscreen, but when I use it on my face, it doesn't feel like anything. Okay, I gotta lay on the grass. Ooh. Oh yeah, there, I can see chat good. Don't sing, please. I'm gonna sing a song now, just because you're being annoying. This is my favorite song to sing right now. I don't know why, it's just stuck in my head. Head on the water And it's on me To breathe easy for one Breathing gets harder Even I know that I like your tattoos, thank you! It's too soon to see If I'm happy in your hand I'm usually hard to hold on to it's hard to sing while laying down. Blank stairs and blank pages. No easy way to say this. In the world, but you make this hard on me. I'm not gonna write you a love song. Cause you asked for it, cause you need one. You see, I'm not gonna write you a love song. Cause you tell me it's make or break in this You go all the way I'm not gonna write you to say Okay, it's hard to sing while laying down <laughs> But there you go, you tell me not to sing, I'm gonna sing Laying on back is easier Karaoke stream Okay, let's not go that far, I don't know how many people would want to see that They all say the things you wanna hear. My heavy heart sinks deep down under you and your twisted words. Your head just hurts. You are not what I thought you were. And I love to hide and dry. I don't know, I just like the song. I was listening to old 2000 songs, and then this came up, and I was like, oh yeah, I used to listen to this a long time ago. To let you hear me as I am, gonna write you a love song, cause you asked for it, cause you need one. You see, I'm not gonna write you a love song. How's everyone doing today? Are you guys good? I'm not gonna write you to say We've only been live for like 15 minutes. I took a little step out for a second so I could go find a thing and I couldn't find one. This laptop is like alarmingly hot. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I think it's just such a hot day. Let's check the weather out here in Los Angeles, California. 96. Oh, lovely. Perfectly toasty. I don't know what it was earlier, but I feel like it was hotter earlier. Feels like 99. Ooh, that's hot. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> that's not hot. Shut the fuck up. It is hot. You can't tell me that 100 is not hot. And Texas, like the hottest I ever saw it was like 115. You see. Yeah, I watched like half the video. The editing is so good, Kalo. I can't wait to post it. There's so many funny moments that I'm glad are just gonna be preserved forever. It makes me really happy. I uh, I had a fun time watching it. Specifically the part where I'm making the TikToks with her. It's so funny. I love song today. My skin doesn't look great today. Let me see if I can take a selfie and not look bad. Let's see. 120? Oh my god. That sounds awful. Goes to 115 in Texas, yeah. Can you imagine? That's like 120 plus in your car when you get into it.
I don't like how the iPhone makes it where you can't see the camera. Like, it changes so fast. I don't know how to explain this, but it, like, goes from being bright to not bright because it's, like, auto-adjusting the light. But I don't want that. Elizabeth is on her way. Yes, Elizabeth, bring me my chapadal. I'm checking a selfie. Just hard to see. You're a Taco Bell guy? I need to go to the Taco Bell in California because the Taco Bell out here apparently has the impossible taco crunch wrap. But they don't have it where I'm at. In Texas. I don't know why. I think they're just rolling it out and testing it. I'm going to post these to my stories. This laptop is scorching. It's so bad. If you want to go help me, go like my social media post. I post it on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Let me do one more. Wait, I think the first one, I don't know if I could top that. It was pretty good. No, the first one is better. I'm going to go with that one. Never mind, wait, that one's kind of cute too. That's cute. I'm like scared to post it on Snapchat. That's kind of a horny post a little bit. So I'm like, here is my butt. I'm not even discreet about it. I don't post my butt really on Snapchat very often. Okay, I post it on my socials, on my stories. And there we go. It's just my skin. Might fall asleep so sleepy. You? You're gonna sleep? It's okay, I'll hype you up in a second. The wiggling is cute. What wiggling? She knows how to play the camera. I mean, I don't think I'd be a streamer if I didn't, right? I mean, I don't really do like thirst trap type things anyways. I can get down with this. When's the next ASMR stream? I don't know, but I post YouTube videos, so you can check those out. I can't wait for my Chipotle. It's probably only like five minutes away or something now. I ordered it a minute ago. Doing it right, doing it right. You don't like the attention, Kalo? You can fight off the bots. Sexy, not for you. 
Zero. It is! It's like two minutes away! I might ask for some, um, boob stickers. I'm kind of a little nervous that something's gonna fly out with the force of 10,000 suns. That doesn't even make sense. Just to be safe. I'm excited. I haven't done a stream alone, I don't think, since I've been here. And I've been wanting to, so. Safety first. Yeah, I'm a little worried about something popping out. I mean, I can always just go like this. <laughs> it's a good twist. Let me go get my chipotle, and I'll be right back. That might be kind of where I'm at right now. Like, obviously I want to be in a relationship, but uh, I'm not feeling like I need to be in one at the moment. Like, I really want to focus on streaming and working and working on myself. You get no girls and it's sad? It's not sad. You get no girls? I get no guys. Literally, my DMs are fucking dry. Not on OF. That's where I message everyone, but... My DMs pop in there, and I have a good time. You guys entertain me for sure. But I just mean like people. People think that I'm like secretly in a relationship, or I'm dating people, and I really am not. And I'm not lying about it. And if <laughs> if I was talking to someone, I think I just wouldn't bring it up at all. Like I would just talk about other topics. But I don't know. It's been a while since I've like, like I haven't had a boyfriend since I was like 18. Mm, I kind of fell in love with someone back in like 2020. I guess 2019. But that wasn't like official. And then since then, it's just like I talked to someone for a little bit and then. Have you put on at least FPS 30? FPS 60. And I forgot to put it on my face till after I did my makeup. So I put it on over my makeup. It made my foundation look bad, but at least I won't get skin cancer, right? Like someone else? Well, let's not call other people out. I don't, it's not my business or your business what other people do in their relationships, you know what I mean? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. But also, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like, come on. Like, most girls like to appear single, but there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like, um, you know. Also, my standards are raised so high from, like, how you guys treat me. Like, it's been so many times I'll go on a date with someone and I'm like, what would someone on OF do? Like, I know it sounds stupid, but it's like, you guys would fucking pay for my dinner. Like, it wouldn't even be a question. Like, are you kidding? You're not gonna be like, let's go 50-50 on this. Like, no, you're gonna pay for my dinner. If I was in a long distance relationship, you'd pay for my flights, you'd pay for my fucking Ubers. Like, I don't know. And I try to compare my real life dating, and I have people tell me like, don't compare OF to real life, and it's like, but why wouldn't I when there's like hundreds of people that would treat me like amazing? That's delusion to be honest. Oh God, the laptop. I don't think that's delusion. That's literally like how I've been treated. Like why wouldn't I want to be treated like that? Like, okay, explain it to me. How is it possible to say it's delusional and no one's going to treat me? Here, hold on. No one's going to treat me like people do on OF when people literally treat me like that on OF. It's delusional to say that that's not possible. I'm looking at this guy's profile that said it's delusional. Let's see. You don't even have face cam on, bro. Bro doesn't even have face cam on. He says it's delusional. Website versus real life. 
What's the difference though? Like, they're real life. Like, people in real life are messaging me. Twitch chat and watch subs are not real life. So you guys are saying you're NPCs and don't actually exist in the real world? So I don't exist in the real world either. I think the guys that come in and neg me about it, like, no, it's not possible. No one's ever gonna treat you like that. Are people that wouldn't wanna pay for my dinner. Like, I'm just gonna be straight up. The people that like act like that's impossible are the people that wouldn't do that for a girl and they don't want girls to have such high standards that we want doors to be opened for us again. Like, yes, let's put women down and go back to when women were just so used to not being treated with respect. I'm like moving back into old traditional where I'm like, yeah, I want someone to hold the door and give me their coat when I'm cold. And like, I was for a long time, like I'm an independent woman I don't need no man. I'll stick out the cold and pay for my own food. But then I kind of just got like, to a point where I'm like, why would I do that though? Like, it makes me feel very bad as a woman to take in a masculine like role in a relationship because that's not really how I want to be treated. Cause then the guy goes into his like feminine role and acts like a little lady. <laughs> and maybe for some people that dynamic is good, but it's not for me. I've been in that kind of relationship so many times. I think like initially like I want a guy to pay for things and then be 50-50 like I don't want to just the thing is why wouldn't you want to pay for your own shit how's being a mooch a high standard I'm not a mooch I have my fucking house bro it's not like I'm trying to move in with you and take all your money I have my own money investments my car that's why I think I'm in a position where it's okay for me to be like I want a guy that can pay for my stuff sometimes because I can pay for my own stuff and I treat myself how I want someone else to treat me so, I don't know. And if I'm like intermarried with someone, I would want things to be like 50-50, that's fine. But if I'm going on a date with someone, if I'm messaging someone on OF, people will just give me money to talk to them. Like, why would I waste my time getting ready, spending my money on my makeup, going out with someone, and then having them not even pay for my drink? Like $10, like I'm not worth $10 to you. I could be at home making money working or doing something else or talking to people online. So you're never finding a guy? Okay. You're just mad because you're never going to date me. You're going to die alone. You will too. How many bitches do you have right now? I'm timing you out for being an asshole. It's okay. You can be closed minded. The guys that get it, get it. Like, I can tell you right now, any of these guys that donate money or are serious about me on OF, like, they're like, yeah, that's fair. That's how you should be treated. You should have someone pay for your fucking drink. I don't understand, like, how guys are just so, like, wow, you're such a bitch and a snob and a mooch because you want a guy to pay for dinner. Are you fucking poor? Like, what's the issue here? I don't understand. I'm being serious. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, the only reason someone would be mad by a woman saying that is because they have such morally different views and then they want to mooch off a girl. Is everybody the same? My mom is still, what is your mom in your account? Why don't you date someone from OF though? I'm not against it. The problem money is how you make your money, okay? Would you rather date a girl that's like, poor and struggling to get by and she can barely see you because she works two shifts every night for 12 hours a day or would you rather date a girl that does something that makes her happy and then has money so she can pay for her own stuff like I, I think I would rather be a lot happier doing my own thing you need to ignore the trolls no one taught them courtesy I think that's what it is though because I really don't think like people from like who are subbed to OF and give money are gonna be like complaining about a girl wanting them to pay for their drinks on a date. Like that's the least. And like I said, so I, I put on my Hinge profile. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't have a car right now because I'm in LA. If I'm going on a date with someone, they either need to pick me up or pay for my Uber. Like I'm not gonna pay $60 each way to go on a date with someone when I don't even know if I'm gonna hit it off with them. Like it's either gonna happen naturally or yeah. 
But I put that in my bio. I was like, I want to be treated like a princess, and I like being picked up on a first date. And then multiple guys like already were like, okay, I'll pay for your Uber. As because the right people, when you want something, will come out of the fucking woodwork. They do exist. Some women have to work that much just to get by? No, exactly. I don't know why people think I'm a gold digger. I literally have a house. <laughs> like, if anything, most of you would probably be gold digging off of me. It's not all about looks. And it's not all about money either, but it's about treating women with respect and um, making it worth her time. Pick a girl in your price range. Yeah, go to McDonald's and pick up the first girl you see if you can't afford to pay for her dinner. Also, dinner is not even that expensive. Like when I go out, you pay like 40 bucks for dinner, maybe 50 for like two people. I think that's like pretty fair to pay for dinner on a first date. And I pay for my friends, that's the thing, like, it's not like I'm a fucking gold digger and I just expect this out of men. Like, when I go out with my friends, sometimes I'm like, hey, it's on me tonight, I'll just pay for everything. Oh, when I'm out with my friends at the bar, I'll just buy our drinks tonight. They buy my drinks sometimes. Like, it's like a 50-50 thing. Not everything's like, hey, uh, I, I paid for your dinner, can you Venmo me like $22.70? Like, sometimes you're just like, whatever. Like, I treat my friends and I treat myself like how I'd want to be treated in a relationship. So why would I let somebody treat me less than I treat myself? It's not like these things aren't possible. Maybe you're misunderstanding what I'm saying, but... It's not like I'm going to be like, if you date me, I want $100 a day. I want you to take me shopping every day. Like, that's totally different than being like, I want a guy to pay for my fucking like food on a date you know what i mean like very different topics i love making people mad when i bring this up though because all these poor guys can leave the chat now and then the guys that would actually treat a woman with respect are gonna stay how'd you get food what kind of food did you get interesting philosophy i don't think it's like a that crazy philosophy though like, again, I'm not asking for keys to your house and $200 a day. No! My dinner with my friend got canceled. <laughs> I just got messaged on Hinge saying he's watching me right now. <sighs> I'm pissing people off by saying I like my food and drinks paid for on a first date. People are saying I'm never gonna find love because I would like someone to open a door for me on a date and apparently I'm a gold digger for that even though I have my house and my car and investment portfolios and pay for my friends on dates and dinners. So I don't know. I just want people to treat me how I treat myself. Speedy, thank you for the 420 bits, thank you. Those who are mad, I don't know, it's just strange to say, like, I'm never gonna find a man. I'm just picky. You can't call me out like that? Cry about it, I don't know. It's like chat, except he's on Hinge. Should I read this guy's bio to you guys and you tell me if I should go on a date with him or not? I'm looking for a girl who doesn't think I'm just a tall, dark, and handsome, girthy piece of meat. I'm a lot more. See, I'm looking for someone that doesn't see me as a piece of meat, too. I know I look like a piece of meat right now, but I'm also, like, very wholesome and have a lot of things going on. He's six foot tall. His sign's not on here, but he looks like he's probably going to be, like, either a Gemini or a Scorpio. Typical Sunday, regretting Saturday. I don't know, my Saturdays are pretty chill. What I order for the table? Table, do not eat. What does that mean? Bro, I would cry if this was me personally and someone is reading out my bio. I would just cry. I don't see you as a piece of meat. I know you guys don't, because we talk about, like, things. A girthy piece of meat. What is a girthy piece of meat? Aquarius, I'm 
Wait, where are my ankles? I don't know if you can see. It's this, it's this one. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. I have an Aquarius tattoo. It's my moon sign. Hard pass. You guys are just saying that because you don't want me to go on a date. Let's see. What would be your date plan? Also, how far are you from me? If it's a bad date, I'll have content to talk about on stream. And if it's a good date, it's a win-win. Go on all the dates. I do like going on dates for content because then I get stories to tell. Take chat with you. I'm not streaming the date. That would be so horrible. That would be so horrible. Like, I've done on-stream dates, like, for fun, for content with other streamers. But it's not serious. I'm, like, pretty private when it comes to my dating life. It depends. Would you, A, pick me up? Or would you call an Uber for me because I don't have a car out here? I don't know how far you are from me, but those are my requirements. And even if it sounds like I'm a bitch or a gold digger for that, like I just, I don't have a, I don't have a car out here, man. And I don't want to pay for an Uber if the date's really bad, because then I'll be sad. And I would have to shower and redo my hair and makeup. You'll pick me up. Okay, what are we gonna do? Mm. This is so weird that he's talking to me on Hinge right now while I'm streaming. <laughs> He's Middle Eastern, by the way. People ask what my type is. I don't have a type, guys. I've dated everybody. Everyone's different in their own way. Go watch Barbie movie? I've already seen it. I allegedly watched a bootleg version. Allegedly, I can't say. Also, movie dates are kind of like the worst first date idea ever. Because you don't even get to know the person. Like, why am I there, you know? I could do, I could do like, drinks if you want to do drinks. Like, maybe, like, nine. <laughs> How does that sound? I don't know if you're still watching. It's for after the movie. Well, I went on a second date to a movie and then the guy fell asleep on me. <laughs> also, he, he kept trying to make out with me and I was just like, bro, stop, I'm trying to watch the Puss in Boots movie. I was like, chill, okay? I'm trying to focus on the movie right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> thing is the old, no, he's my age. Wait, how old is this guy? He's 27. Dating older is fine. All right, wait, what's your job? Lastly, what's your job? Hold on, I need to know your job. Middle, Middle Eastern man over here, what's your what's your job? Also, you legally can't watch my stream for the rest of my stream. After this question, you have to leave. <laughs> That's not a boring movie, how do you fall asleep? I don't know! But this is why I really don't think movie dates are good until like, you're dating dating someone. Cause then it's like, oh, you have like two hours not talking? No big deal. But, if I'm gonna go spend time with someone, like, I wanna talk and get to know them on, like, a personal level to see if I'm even vibing with them. I think it takes, like, three days.